So when you go back to how things are made, you know, and you start isolating compounds out of different kinds of plants, which is how we got into new medical science mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the early 1800s by, you know, taking things like the first isolate was morphine out of opium poppies, mm -hmm. right? Look where that led. And they, they moved away completely from whole plant applications to that, and then right after that, hypodermic needle was came out. Well, can, and cannabis was a medicine. It was mm -hmm. used for, it, it, it helped people get off opiates at the time. It helped with um, pain. And then, but because it's not water soluble, they couldn't inject it into you, right? So that helped its decline, and then the whole and that was in the 1800s, and then the 1900s completely annihilated it. Right. But what they say now is, well, we have to take it apart because we have to figure out a way to dose it, mm -hmm. right? But talking about, you know, your friend who's taking a pill, mm -hmm. and one, this whole one pill fits all mentality that we've been working with mm -hmm. for the last 200 years, it doesn't work. Yep. So they take that, and then they have a side effect, and then they have to take another pill, and they have a side effect, and they have to take another pill, and they got another side effect. And they worried about, and they're worried about whole plant cannabis, where there's never been a death, there's no addiction. I mean, and so why do you have to dose? I mean, we've been using it for thousands of years without having to take it apart and synthesize it to create dosing. It's misinformation. Mm -hmm.